I do believe that the media coverage of uh, the um, climate change is cyclical. Cyclical changes from time to time. During the pandemic, the coverage of climate change by the media went down. However, during the past summer, the coverage went up because of extreme uh, weather condition in many parts of the world. So overall, looking at the future, I hope media coverage of climate change should stay on top, should stay being hot, should not fluctuate, should rather be always, always, always talking about climate change. Well, there are two ways to uh, uh, describe the, the economic impact of climate change. One negative, one positive, right? The negative perspective is that because of climate change, extreme weather conditions are happening in many parts of the world in the form of flood, torrential rain and flood. And this is causing uh, damage to the economy and uh, also life causing a lot of casualty in many parts of the world, especially the past summer. This is, this is kind of a negative, pessimistic perspective. The optimistic and the positive perspective is that the climate change is now pushing a huge amount of investment in all economies in the world, in many, many countries. In China, for example, huge investments are being made in the form of uh, solar panels. Solar panels, huge investment. And in the form of uh, electrical cars, China is now producing around 10 million electrical cars a year. China is exporting the highest amount of electrical cars to the rest of the world. Chinese sales of electrical cars is uh, 8 million this year this year at the pace of 8 million, okay? So these, are, I think, uh, are positive changes. And on top of that, there are new technologies trying to mitigate uh, the, uh, the emission of carbon dioxide. Lots of technology, especially uh, around nitro uh, hydrogen. The hydrogen technology is now heavily, heavily invested. In China, we have a joke, we have a joke that when, when the wind blows, right, the pigs can fly. We all know that, right? This is everywhere in the world, right? Now in China, there is a wind of green technology. The wind is now blowing. A lot of technologies are being financed. Not all of them will survive, will be successful. However, overall, I would rather see the wind of green technology to blow than having uh, a few um, invest, you know, failing investments. Overall, it's a good thing. Well, the inflation is a major problem nowadays in many parts of the world, especially in developed countries, in the US, in Europe, in UK, not in China. China has the opposite problem. China has deflation problem. Chinese PPI, the product price index, is reducing by three 0.5% year on year for the past few months. China's CPI, Consumer Price Index, is now bordering on 0%. Okay, so looking at the future, I do believe that um, US inflation, UK inflation is coming down. It's coming down partly because, partly because uh, various uh, kinds of uh, export to these economies uh, actually are, are increasing. For example, for example, in Mexico and in Southeast Asia, lots of plants are now being invested by China, by Chinese enterprises. Why Mexico? Why Southeast Asia? Because Mexico and Southeast Asia are perceived to be friendly countries to the U.S. The U.S. would rather import products in the form of um, toys, in the form of air conditioners from Mexico from Southeast Asia, from Vietnam, rather than from China. But the funny story is, many of these plants are invested by China. <laughs> the Chinese investments are huge, <laughs> ironically, ironically. So, <laughs> so this, is the, this is the beauty of economics. In Chinese, we see that the economy 
economy be, is like water. It goes around. If you have a tariff on Chinese products, the products will flow to Vietnam or to Mexico. And in the end, it gets into the U.S. economy. I do believe that uh, mitigating climate change actually represents a huge investment opportunity and in turn a huge opportunity for further economic development for the whole world. Specifically, I hope countries can come together, can set up long-term investment funds with low interest rates and invest in new technology to replace carbon dioxide emission. For example, let me give you one example, okay? Solar panels. Solar panels are being set up in deserts. They produce electricity. And this electricity from solar panels can be used to uh, electric, electric, electrize water to generate hydrogen. And the hydrogen can be used for uh, producing uh, methanol or directly used to um, propel cars in fuel cell. And this technology is very important for many countries like UAE, like in Middle East. This technology actually will turn a lot of desert into green oasis. China did exp experiment. When you set up solar panels in deserts, you block the sunshine. And instead, you bring some water to wash the solar panel and the water trickles down and the grasses grow. Grasses grow and the cattle can, can eat the grass. So you have a new economy. You have a new economy coming up. So in the Middle East, in the long run, maybe in 30, 30 years or 50 years, maybe crude oil no longer is the biggest business. However, desert becomes your gold mine. Desert will be turning into an oasis. Desert will become your source of wealth. So, in the, so all in all, my point is that invest in economics, prosperity, and technology. That's the key words for mitigating climate change.